Welcome to the three-minute update on InfoBlox DNS Firewall. InfoBlox DNS Firewall was introduced in January 2013, and now, roughly 90 days later, InfoBlox has increased the granularity of identifying infected devices with expanded DHCP functionality called DHCP fingerprinting, which brings a new level of description of the device connected to the network. A quick overview for those a little vague on InfoBlox DNS Firewall. InfoBlox DNS Firewall is an application that sits atop the InfoBlox DNS servers and blocks DNS queries for bad domains, thereby disrupting the hack and attack process. The disruption of communication between the malware and the command and control servers and botnets also means the information is not exfiltrated out of the company network as well. DNS Firewall is continually updated by the malware data feed service every two hours to keep it current. InfoBlox DHCP per server release 6.7, has added DHCP fingerprinting. For those InfoBlox DNS, DNS Firewall, DHCP, and IP address management customers, this means the DNS Firewall, in conjunction with Transit Reporting Server, can now not only report on which IP address made the bad DNS query, but also identify the MAC address and, via DHCP fingerprinting, the device or OS type. This enables security personnel to triangulate which device is infected and should be targeted for cleanup. Very few vendors can provide this level of information for security personnel to do remediation. Also, by seeing the device or operating system uh, infected, security personnel can now get an idea of what devices are getting infected and the rate of infection. Here is a view of the DNS firewall RPC report from Transit Reporting Server. As you can see, it helps IT personnel to identify the infected devices for remediation. Security can ID the device by IP address. In this case, we remove the IP addresses as the server's in production. If the IP address is leased out via DHCP, then they can see the device by MAC address and by device type. Information captured during by DHCP fingerprinting during the process of DHCP leasing out an IP address. As you can see, this information is located in the lower right-hand side of the screen. Before you now is a simple, high-level listing of the devices that DHCP fingerprinting can identify. Also covered by DHCP fingerprinting, but not listed on the screen, audio video equipment, network boot agents, projectors, NAS storage devices, and thin clients. Not only does DHCP fingerprinting help administrators see what devices or OSs are infected for remediation, but provides a review of which devices are getting infected so that help them shape corporate policies on managing their networks. This concludes <coughs> our update on DNS firewalls improved capability of identifying infected devices for remediation utilizing DHCP fingerprinting in release 6.7. To find out more about InfoBlox DNS Firewall, visit www.infoblox.com backslash DNS Firewall.